What's going on guys? It's Christian again. Sorry about the mess. Actually, I just got out the shower and I kind of got home late from work, so don't worry about that. So, the big news I want to talk about this week. That will come up at the end of the video, so make sure you guys stick around and watch it. Also, the other thing I was going to show you guys was my 4th of July weekend or weekday since it landed on Thursday, I believe. So, hopefully you guys enjoy your 4th of July. Uh, me and my family had a great time. Uh, had family from Tennessee and North Carolina coming in. They stayed about, four, I think it was four days from Thursday to Sunday. Three days? The Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, four days. So we had a lot of fun. We enjoyed the time together. So I'm going to show you guys a little snippet of what we went through, uh, through the fireworks. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, it was my first time. So just enjoy. Alright guys, so... 4th of July, it's about 9 right now, but we pop in fireworks, look you can see the smoke, and I'll show you, oh. look at this, don't forget your Diablo when you come back down either. Oh, I did forget about that. <laughs> it's just sitting right next to your desk. Is this the Uh huh. We for do got a lot, like for no reason. Are those like the Roman candles over there? Yeah, I got Roman candles and I got the thousand Saturn rocket. So give me a rundown. What you got? I don't know. That's the <laughs> did you just buy stuff? A uh, shitload of freaking mortars. How much I do know. Here, blow one of that one up right now. Diablo in the case then if I were to say it's small stuff. <laughs> small stuff right there. Look at that. <laughs> That's large ordnance right there. <laughs> That's a big tub for real. Oh god. Yeah, is that it? No. This is how people lose fingers and hands. What? Hold on. Let's 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 take a let's take a closer look. Like I'm pretty sure you you're yeah you're supposed yeah. to unroll it. Let's take a closer look at this before we die. How many Marines does it take ah, to learn how to hard. open a... Oh. Too many. Here we go, guys. Run. Like that? Yep. I need a light. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, one more. So finally the big news I've been waiting to share with you guys is I started my own company. It's called Jacinto Works LLC. And let me actually flip the camera around here in a minute. Let me just search something up really quick so I can show you guys. So if you go to the Ohio State website, uh, you can actually find the business. But let me flip the camera around so I can show you. So if you just go to Jacinto Works LLC. Basically, just search by business name. My business will come up. And there we go. So, that was big news for me. And let me tell you why. The reason it's big news for me is because I have never really done anything on my own. Or branched out to this point. 
I have worked in uh, retail. I have worked like for J.C. Penney when I was I think 16. That's when I first started my first job. 16. I was making like eight bucks an hour, which is minimum wage, and I was getting paid every two weeks. So don't get me wrong; it's a great job to start. I'm not knocking anybody who works in retail or any you know sort of job like that. But I did that for about a year. Uh, I think I did it for a holiday season. They only hired me. But I was able to keep the job for another year. A year came up and they said, you know what? Since you've been working with us for a year now, for a while, we're going to give you a raise. Now, I'm thinking that's a great thing, right? I'm thinking that's, oh my God, I'm about to get another dollar, two dollar raise. Wrong. <laughs> I got a 25 cent raise. And guess what? The people who were new hires, who basically started brand new, had no experience in working with JCPenney started making the same amount as me for holiday season I think they were making 825 and I had just made that for working over a year so you know I was like that's not for me no I'm not doing that after that I went to Cricket Wireless that was my second job a lot better pay I was getting paid uh, for commissions like in sales of course so I was getting paid uh, hourly and commission a lot better money I was able to learn a lot from people and I was learn able to learn a lot for myself after a few years of working at cricket I had a great chance and opportunity actually to become manager of uh, two cricket stores I had a great boss so I really do appreciate him he basically made the opportunity to manage two stores two cricket wireless and basically had me in charge of doing so much stuff for him I learned a lot, especially with money managing and, you know, just discipline of showing up to work, being in charge of people, scheduling, how to schedule people. It was just a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of experience. I think I took over two stores at the age of 18 or 19. I did it for two years. I did it almost for two years. Then I left. But so I was a manager from 19 to 20 or 21, I believe. So it, I was really young. I was not, I don't think I was really ready when I was put in the position, but I just, you know, I had to run with it and take full advantage of the, pretty much the system there. I was able to have a lot of fun, had a communication with all the employees and the boss, of course. And from there, I went to construction. This is where I learned a lot, especially for myself. I, you know, I give props to the people who work, who have worked construction or keep working construction you know, over a year, two years, 10 years, 20 years. My dad himself has had experience in the construction business over like 20 plus years, you know. And he's a very hardworking guy, so I do appreciate him a lot. I love him a lot, I love my family. Now, I didn't really know what manual labor was until I stepped outside that retail or sales commission floor. So I was in the AC, you know, sitting in like in a desk like this, basically. So going from this to work in demolition, which was my first outside construction job, man, that took the whole life out of me. I had no idea what I was doing. I would come, I came home, I think it was the first two days I was running fevers because my body wasn't used to it. But after a year, now I've been doing construction for about two years, right? Now, since I started working with my boss, or I had a few bosses in construction just because I worked for contractors, I learned a lot of good things from them and a lot of bad things, of course. Just like you would learn at any job, really, whatever it is. You learn the, you know, the good things, of, the good side of things and the bad side. With me, I learned, you know, a little bit of everything I have done. Demolition, uh, metal framing, wood framing, drywall. I'm doing, currently I'm doing finishing. I've done commercial wrapping for the Tyvek for industrial and commercial use, uh, you know, uh, residential commercial wrapping as well. So I've done all these sort of things. I have driven forklifts, I've driven boom lifts, which is not really hard. It's just things that I have learned in the past two years, two, three years. And since I've been doing this, I've realized I went from making, you know, $8 starting out to making... Uh, I think it was, I think when I started demolition, I was making about 12 bucks an hour. That was a huge jump for me, right? I was more than happy with what I was getting paid. I was working 40 plus hours a week. 
I would start leaving town and I would get paid more. So I would make, you know, 12 from 12. So I would leave town and I would make about 15 or $16 an hour, which was awesome to me. Now, what really changed my mindset is I was able to talk to a foreman on the job site and he said, why are you still working under your boss? You could be making so much more, so much more money if you really wanted to. And I'm like, how? And he said, he said, he told me, just go out on your own, get your own crew and do your own thing. And I said, you know what? If my boss can do it, why can't I? And the boss I used to be with, this guy barely spoke any English and somehow was driving a 2018 truck, you know. At that time, that was, you know, the newest one. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, this guy can barely speak any English, but yet again, he his, you know, his level is up here and I'm down here. What, what, what's going on in between there, right? And so I started learning from him, the good and the bad. Finally, I decided, you know what? And this was just recently. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to branch out on my own. Whether I fail or whether I succeed, it's a, you know just a new lesson. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be 100%. I'm going to go into the business and make a huge profit because that's not really what it's about. It's about, for me, well, at least for me, it's about just learning along the way. Now, yes, I want to make more money. And yes, I want to be able to, you know, or eventually just be up here for myself now that I was able to start my business even though I haven't really done anything I like I said I just got my approval uh, actually it was early this morning and I'm finally able to branch out on my own now that's my plan it's still a process guys so hopefully I'm able to land a big job site get some new things going on in my life I am more than happy to get the you know the ball rolling you know Hopefully everything goes great and I keep learning and I keep growing. That's my plan for myself. Hopefully you guys got some sort of plan for yourself uh, to grow, not to go down. It's, it's always to keep growing. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Now I do plan on uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I plan on doing Mondays, meal prep Mondays because I've been doing a lot of cooking lately. I've been, you know, packing my meals to work and throughout the day. So I'm going to be doing meal prep Mondays. Then I'll do like my vlogs, which will be, which I'm going to shorten to about maybe 5, 10 minutes every Wednesday. And I'm still thinking about doing FIFA Fridays because that's about the only other game I've been playing lately. FIFA, tw uh, I think it's 19. Yeah, FIFA 19. I've been playing 18 earlier, like I think last week. But... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. Make sure you guys comment and let me know you guys watch the video. But for the rest, enjoy your guys' week. Hopefully you guys come back next Monday and enjoy some cooking that I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing healthy and basic meals that will take like maybe 10, 15 minutes at most. And we'll have great carbs, great protein, just in general, great nutrition. Very healthy. So stick around. Hit that subscribe. See you guys.